Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 14 of Let's Play Lauren, the Amazon Princess. Hope you guys are doing well out there in real life. And ready to see more Lauren. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and load episode 13. We are in... Horus, I believe. We have some town fame. We have some money. Um, maybe we can get something new for somebody. Giant Axe of the Lich King. Uh, you could use that, but it's not much of an upgrade. Hmm. Um, Redwood Bow. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and equip directly. It's all the fine crossbow. Got two sixteen left. Let's see. Chain boots of fire, burning resist. Can I use those? Plus seven defense. I can use them. Let's go to equip. And, uh, let's go ahead and head out. And let's actually head for some adventure today. Or tonight. Um, how about the Dark Elves? Or should we try a crypt? Or Chizulu Ruins? Or whatever the Vork Lair is. Let's check out the Dark Elves. Random encounter. Let's fight them. We've got Dark Elf Warriors and two Dark Elf Healers. With a lot of HP. And his new bow is spicy. Harm no more. Um. Seems like Karen could use more strength than what she currently has. <clears throat> These guys have a pretty good defense. Um, <laughs> that works. Cure all, but it's a little too late. Well, for this, for the one we killed, anyway. Slowed. <laughs> um, ah, I wanted to get it before cure all. Eighty two, nice crit. Should be able to get her killed though. With this move. Yeah, Karen's attacks just aren't really <clears throat> doing a ton for us, but I guess she's still a good frontline character. Not quite as versatile as Ray. Who can attack with his sword? Maybe they have piercing resistance or something. Oh. Cool. Nice battle. Topaz for a hundred, a precious gem. 66 gold. The party wandered into the desert searching for the Dark Elves village. Upon arriving in the desert town and seeing it was completely inhabited by Dark Elves, Saren realized that Mirth was tense because she was walking into enemy territory. Look at all the blue people. Shh, don't call them that. They're dark elves. Why are they living out here? It doesn't seem fun. Because they're not allowed in the forest. Why not? They are elves like the ones in the forest. 
Mirth was quiet for a moment, looking straight ahead. No, they are different. Dark elves were carrying around armor and weapons. They were forest, there were forest elves standing around and directing them. What are the forest elves doing here? Mirth ran up to one of the elves in charge. They recognized her and bowed. Why are the dark elves armed? What is this? Haven't you heard? The elders have decided to grant am amnesty to the dark elves in return for their service. Amnesty? Saren had heard tales of a certain sect of elves that had made deals with demons a long, long time ago, but he did not believe that the forest elves still held it against their ancestors to this day. But that was coming to an end, if what he just heard was true. An old blue elf approached the party, decked out in heavy robes and a battle staff. Welcome to my village, travelers. I am Tobar. Is there something I can help you with? You're to fight as well? Tobar looks her hard in the eye. The druid mirth. I would never have thought to see your face here. If this will end my people's exile, I would fight war upon war. That's just reckless if you ask me. We've made up our minds. All of us have. You'll die. I'd rather die than remain a pariah. It is his choice, and we should respect it. Tobar's eyes lit up when he heard Apollo Meshel's voice. The Arch Wizard, here. Greetings, Tobar. It has been a long time. Very long indeed. I did not expect to see a friendly human at this time. Wah, wah, wait. You two know each other? We fought in the old war together. <clears throat> yes. It was me, you, and Ashtran against that vile demon, Faust. I am not as spry as I was in my youth, but I hope I can still remember my old druid magic. Ashtran? You were friends with General Ashtran? Very much so. His eyes dimmed as if he were recalling memories. I found him in the orcish wastes, ambushed by many orcs. He was naive and headstrong, but I liked that about him. But the times have changed. Tobar gripped his battle staff with dread. Maybe if maybe if we bring Tobar to Ashtran, he can remember that elves are not all bad. If he remembers me, then he will remember that. Then it's settled to General Ashtran. Also, Tobar kept them from leaving, but he couldn't speak his mind right away. What is it, Desert Elf? You may tell us. My son, Mesfit, he is missing. Several party members gasped at the news. Sir, how could that be? You were strictly ordered to keep him under surveillance. He was, I promise you. The elves keeping him in isolation have been severely injured in his escape. I did not think my son was capable of this. Excellent. Looks like I'll be hunting him once more. How dare you? Mirth arranged for him to be pardoned for his crimes. Ray, he is not your charge anymore. Decisions on how to deal with him are not yours alone. Please, do not kill him. I beg you. He is a good boy. I... If he is genuinely a threat to anyone, we cannot let him live. You must understand. Demons cannot be allowed to roam free. Who is Mesfit? Why is this a problem? He is a rogue dark elf that terrorized the forest elves. We were to assassinate him. She looked over at Ray, who sighed in ex exasperation. But we have decided that it is not the best way to seek peace with the Dark Elves. That is a mistake. You have no compassion. If I'm compassionless, then what do you call your son? Is there no word yet for how low he has sunk? Settle your bloodlust. I will not tolerate it further. Forgive me if I don't show respect for demon sympathizers. What are you claiming? Ray! The Dark Elf Mesfit has made a deal with the demons and compromised his blood. He's working with the demons to destroy the forest. No, no. I cannot excuse Mesfit's crime of dealing with demons, but he is not in league with them. He was driven to this. He told me how he felt trapped and powerless over our situation in the desert. He only wanted to help. I have been waiting for news of his death, but none has come. If he is alive, I need to know it. I know only that he was speaking of the Cyclopes before he managed to escape from my guardsmen. Before he... He is not an evil person. 
the demon inside of him, that is not Mesfit, that is not my son. We understand, but know that if he is dangerous, then he will be treated with the same hospitality that I give to any demon. Tobar's eyes darkened with the possibility. I suppose now there is some hope that he still may live rather than none. I will cherish it in the time that you are gone. <clears throat> Find Mesfit. 25 XP. New quest. Huh. Let's go ahead and save. And maybe head to... Vorkler. And we've got Orc Warriors and an Orc Healer. Let's try to get the Orc Healer out of here. <laughs> there she's doing some better damage to keep up. <clears throat> We have a pretty good battle strategy. I guess we're trying to ally with the Vorks. Maybe. Level up for Draco, an old quarter staff and 72 gold. Draco has a skill point. <clears throat> Let's go will, will, strength. Um... Maybe go ahead and get Blizzard. So he has a little more of a an arsenal of elements. The party was standing outside of the big cave, once inhabited by a Vork. On the ground, several footprints of orcs hinted that someone else might be inside. Search cave. Wait here, I'm going to take a look. Be careful, dark caves are pretty dark. Don't go inside alone. Take someone with you. Review your party setup before proceeding. Party limit is three, including Saren. Um, then Lauren and... Gotta go with our strength. Draco. Saren's group scouted forward, but the cave appeared empty. Perhaps it has been abandoned after... Growling cut him off, and orcs fell out of the darkness with their teeth bared. Saren's voice must have alerted them. Fight them back! <clears throat> orc Raider, Orc Healer. You forfeited your life. Orc Warriors. Um, oh, they all do different amounts. Looks like Blizzard is the one to hit. This one's guarding that one now. I don't like you. I don't like you. Pretty simple time here. Thirty-four XP, a standard axe, and seventy-nine gold. I'm about to level up. Saren ran outside and huffed, only to see that the rest of the group had been ambushed by orcs as well. I'll save you. Review your party setup before proceeding. Party limit is six. Um, <clears throat> let's get the usual characters in there. This healer. Get down. Nice K 
kill. There's some nice damage. Thus far, looks like we're going to become pretty simply victorious. Um, I'll just kill that one. Don't know if we're going to be fighting any more orcs, but oh well. Just go all out on them. some bucklers under 20 gold a lot of XP I leveled up I can get life 3 75% of targeted allies HP restore stamina spell points increases elemental resistances removes 4 turns of negative conditions um Store too. And skill, skill, and will. <clears throat> Very nice. Is everyone alright? They love this cavern. They'll just keep coming back. Then so will we. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if it's going to get a lot tougher from here is the thing. Cyclopes. The party traveled to the last known hunting grounds of the Cyclopes. Using Ray's tracking skills and his thorough knowledge of Mesfit, they were able to confirm exactly where he was headed. They wandered into a canyon and stopped when they saw a frightening cyclops in the distance. It was too late to leave unnoticed. The monster stood up and looked right at them. I don't like this at all. We've slain many like him. But even Lauren's courage faltered as she felt the ground shake with each step of the cyclops as he advanced towards the party. Be careful. The cyclops suddenly charged at the party with an aggressive roar. And then a mightier roar stopped the cyclops right in its tracks. It looked around in confusion. A beast sprang out from nowhere and attacked the cyclops. The whole party stumbled backwards. The cyclops whined in pain and ran in the opposite direction. His attacker did not chase him. Whoa. By the moon. The beast looked like a mix between a demon and a dark elf. Could this be? Misfit. 25 XP. He suddenly faced the party, demonic eyes pulsing, fanged teeth bared, and dripping blood from his recent attack. Misfit! Gotcha. Ray cocked his crossbow and aimed it right for the dark elf's head. Saren sheathed his sword and rushed towards Misfit. Move, you're in my shot! But he did not stop and confronted the dem demonic elf directly. He growled at him in a mixture of primal instinct and recognition. Saren punched Misfit directly in his face. The entire group gasped as Misfit reeled back with the snap of his teeth. What's wrong with you? Your father thinks you're dead. You keep breaking his heart and ruining everything the Dark Elves are fighting for. You hurt your own brothers escaping your isolation, and for what? 
You're just roaming around out here. I think it's time you stopped being so selfish. <clears throat> Mesfit's breathing unfurled in low growls as he just scowled at Saren and his words. Lorne was on edge, afraid for her companion's life. Slowly, the Dark Elf's breathing and form returned to normal. The color of his eyes returned and his beastly features subsided. He was finally only looking at Saren with a hard gaze. There, that's better. A hand on Saren's arm pulled him away from Mesfit. Mirth took him by the hand and pleaded with Mesfit with her eyes not to not harm him. Your terror ends now. Mesfit was suddenly very afraid of the sight of Lorne's ancient sword. So, you've decided where to kill him? He is the very enemy we are trying to eliminate. The demon should be given no quarter. But he's not a demon. He's only a dark elf who has been corrupted. Which was his own choice, mind you. He asked for this. No. Everyone was startled to hear his normal voice. I didn't ask for this. Do you have some sort of demon disease? Ah, are you contagious? She said I would be given power, and I had no ability to say no. Lauren's sword shook as if she wanted to believe him, but she was still torn. He's a demon. He was not born in Everburn. Only part of him is corrupted, and a part that can be obviously tamed. Karen looked over at Saren with interest. Do not speak as me as if I am not here. You won't be here. Your life is in our hands if you've forgotten. Mesfit's breathing started to quicken in response to the threat. Lauren, no! Lower your sword! You're stirring the demon inside of him! Saren wanted to see if Mesfit could reject his demon side, because if he could, then he could be redeemed. Mesfit stared at them all for a long moment. The entire group waited on edge to see which form he would take. But he suddenly bolted away from them. He ran quickly across the sands to escape. I got him! Ray shot at him, but Mesfit was running with demon speed. They attempted to catch up with him. It was only a matter of time before they lost him completely. The party slowed to a halt and caught their breath. He has disappeared. Blast him. Not as easy as it looks, is it? He has an unfair advantage. We need to hunt him down. Saren heard something to his side. It could have easily been an animal, but his intuition hinted at something more. With the party deep in conversation, he crept slowly towards the large rocks nearby. The rustling was heard again, so he darted behind the boulders. Saren was suddenly dragged down to the ground and his mouth covered. Am I demon or am I elf? Mesfit's voice was hoarse and his hand was shaking, yet when Saren found his eyes, they were as sharp as swords. Saren pried his hand from his mouth and matched those eyes then. I see an elf. He seemed to calm. They stared at each other, the hot sand burning their skin. Finally, he looked down to tend to an arrow stuck in his leg. He ripped it from his skin without a second thought. Stop. Let me. Saren used his healing magic on Mesfit and the arrow wound closed. After it was tended to, they were enveloped by silence again. It was clear that Mesfit could easily escape again and would. I can't let you leave. Then kill me. Saren swallowed. No. Without being threatened, the demon side was not claiming him, and he seemed so completely normal, at least as much as any troubled soul could be. It did not feel like the right thing to do to kill him, not when a loved one so dearly wanted him home. You will go back to Tobar and you'll do as he says. Not yet. Why not? I'm not done. Done with what? Saren could hear his name being called now that they noticed he was gone. I must kill him. I must have his head. What? He has Saren hostage. Lauren and the rest of the members crowded around the rocks. Amukiki subdued and held Mesfit while Ray kept him in check with his crossbow. No, wait. Mesfit growled, tempting his demon instincts. Put away your weapons. His demon blood is triggered from self-preservation. Don't threaten him. Are you still negotiating with this filth? We've decided to kill him. You said he will go back to Tobar if he does one thing first, right? Tell the Mesfit. Amukiki's grip loosened so that he could talk. Dromzak, let me kill him and I'll return to the desert. Who the blast is Dromzak? The Yetin, 
There is a bounty for a two-headed ogre that has been terrorizing trade routes. How this dark elf knows of that or why he would seek to fulfill it, I cannot say. Tell us. They all looked to Mesfit for an answer. Sport. That was all he said, and it took everyone a long time to process it. You mean you're hunting him for fun? Not for fun, because he needs to. When a demon decides on taking blood, they must have it. It seems as if he needs to satisfy something out of his control. <clears throat> this is likely the demon's blood to blame. If we help you kill Dromzak, you'll be satisfied? You'll see your father? Mesfit nodded with effort. We have no obligation to hunt down that creature for him. We could end his life and this entire ordeal be done with. One less demon in the world. But I bet the gold would be really good if we get the bounty. We should kill Mesfit, but still go hunt down the Etten anyway. He sounds interesting. Quiet, no. Tobar asked us for a son, not a corpse. We will do what he wants and then take him back where he belongs. You've acquired Mesfit's personal quest. Oh, is he a party member? Hunt down the Etten Dromzak to satisfy Mesfit's bloodlust. Saren was relieved that his mistress had made such a compassionate decision. Secretly, Mesfit would be too. The Dark Elf was kept under high guard. Saren shared responsibility with Ray to keep him in check. With the promise to hunt down Dromzak, Mesfit was obedient in hopes to finally quench his bloodlust. Cool. Alright, so we're going to be fighting in Two-Headed Et, and I don't know if we can do this right now. Um, Cyclops... The moment they stepped onto the Cyclopes' territory, Mesfit shivered and then a smile formed on his face. The party eyed him warily as he stepped freely from them to take point. They weren't sure what to expect from him before and even after Dromzak was slain. Yep, new party member, wow. Mesfit Thief Demon Blood. The demon bloods can be of any race, but as their name suggests, they have demon blood flowing in their veins. This is both a gift and a curse, allowing them to transform themselves into the powerful demon form and unlocking powerful destructive skills, but making these characters difficult to control in a group as they attend to attack their own allies often. Uh, doom Gaze. Hit single staggered, tar staggered target for 20% of its HP, if not boss. It causes a random condition. Paralyzed, weakened, scared, slowed, confused for three turns. Requires demon form transformation to be used. Claw Strike hits a row full of enemies, inflicting each one 10% of the target's actual HP damage, if not boss. Minimum damage done in any case is 30 HP. Requires demon form. Devour. Hits single target for 15% HP and increases his own HP by 50% of damage done, if not boss. Minimum man damage done in any case is 30 HP, requires demon form. Immolation. Hits single burning target for 30% HP damage, if not boss, but suffers for 10% 10 10 HP damage. Minimum damage done is 30 HP, requires demon form. Here's demon form 1. Uh, caster regenerates 10 HP SP for the next 3 turns and increases his attack by 50% but reduces his uh, defense by 10% regenerates 20 HP SP for the next 4 turns and increases his attack by 100% wow <clears throat> um, let's get that demon form 2 This inflicts 20% of the target's actual damage, and the minimum damage is 40 HP. This is 30% of their damage, minimum 50 HP. Or hit single target for 45% HP. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get Demon Form 3. 30 HP SP for the next 5 turns, and increases attack by 150%. Reducing defenses by 20%, and let's go ahead and get Claw Strike 3. Nice. Um, will, will, skill, skill, strength, 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 skill, will, strength, strength, skill, strength, strength, will, skill, will, strength. Will. 
Please, Mesfit, do you have to kill these creatures? We should not attack unless we are attacked. Cyclopes are not as dumb as many believe them. It would be wrong to slaughter them, if not just to prevent them from taking revenge. Except, it's a known fact that these beasts are regularly attacking caravans, so they're not exactly a peaceful people. That's cruel. No, it's reality. <clears throat> He's right. There's a big bounty on Dromzak and other Cyclopes for good reason. Why should we feel bad for killing them? He's found something. They all looked to Mesfit, tracking down the double-headed ogre. His walk turned into a run. Fearing he was escaping, they chased after him. A cyclops stood up from the ground in front of Mesfit. He this, this triggered his demon form and he morphed, but no time was lost as he immediately swiped at the creature in a melee attack. He's attacking a cyclops. His demon blood has blinded him. They had no choice but to take down the cyclops along with him. Must be in party. Okay, Mesfit. <clears throat> um, for Karen, Saren, Lauren, Mesfit. All right. He's in his demon form. Let's see. Let's shoot you. Whoa. Um, headshot. Nice. Confu oh, magic damage down. That's not much. Um, let's go ahead and try to slow them. Wow, they're pretty tough. Demon form. Wow. Hmm, they didn't go after him. Messed with that time, or he did. Heal Mesfit. Keep him alive and there we go. Got a two rubies, a rare gem, two hundred six gold, and level up for mirth. <clears throat> um, will will. Very good. The Cyclops was dead thanks to Mesfit's blood rage. Saren attempted to grab Mesfit, but the Dark Elf evaded him expertly. You had no reason to attack that creature. Mesfit did not reply, only low growls escaped him. This fool is going to slaughter an entire colony and for some... Only for some forsaken demon urge. That cannot happen. You hear that, Dark Elf? Are you even still in there? You're not in charge here. Don't speak to him like that. Mesfit flailed around, and the next moment they heard heavy footfalls and crushing noises in front of them. Two giant cyclops burst into view, enraged from seeing their dead brethren. They both swiped at the party. Before anyone could react, Mesfit exploded a dark aura from him, warding off the beasts and keeping them from landing their attacks. He then leapt into action, attacking them both. Dang, two of them? I think we're in over our head again. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and save here, but I think we might be... Yeah, in over our head. This is going to be very, very difficult. Wow. This is going to be so hard. Then we have to fight some crazed... boss-type creature. Hmm, lowers his magic, but that doesn't necessarily help. We have 
have to raise him. Good thing we got Restore too, but one attack and he's done for. Wow, I just got killed. Wonderful. Um... Now we gotta really hope for the best. Demon Form 3. Love Mesfit as a party member. Don't love that we're that we might be in over our heads. Huh, why doesn't he have the claw attack? Not enough MP, I guess. Load him. Missed. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill a two-headed one. There's the MP. Hmm. Down he goes. have to fight that other one now. Four rubies, 368 gold, ton of XP. It's a massacre! The Cyclops' bodies were piling up. This has gone far enough. No more. I can't kill any more innocent creatures. There is no honor here. These things are ruthless. They're just big game to me. Only the Etten. Do you understand? Only him. Mesfit wrinkled his nose and started to wander off. Whether or not he heard or understood was left to be seen. They walked cautiously along the plains, hoping they would not have any more unwanted battles. The group was struck with apprehension when they saw a hive of Cyclopes standing in the distance. Mesfit saw them too. His stare was locked on them and he was completely still. His breathing sped up. He then broke his stare and clenched his jaw. He then continued forward, ignoring the group. Everyone was impressed with the hint of self-control. Fortunately, they did not have to test it again, as the Atom was found grazing in the open field. Upon seeing it, Mesfit snapped. He sprinted towards the beast with an otherworldly roar. Help him kill the Atom so that this ordeal will be done with. They nodded at each other and rushed after Mesfit to battle the infamous creature. Uh, this might be too bad for us. Whoops. Okay, we have full health and everything. Let's go ahead and just save us 15, in case we have to back out of this whole bad boy. Okay, level 10, which we're level 8, we may be able to do it. That first attack is a good sign. Couldn't slow him. He's got pretty decent magical resistance. I don't know if he uses magic, but let's try to headshot him anyway. Claw does 50. Which is even more than Lauren. What happened? Inflicted slowed on Mesfit Demon. What was that? Etnu's slam. Oh. This could be bad. Down goes Draco. Ray can still fight. I can still fight a little bit. Oh dear. This is bad. I didn't realize it was as bad as it was. Um, let's go ahead and raise Draco, because he needs to get a magical attack off. 
slam again. That works in our favor. Missed. Tough fight. Draco to the rescue. And we did it. Ooh. Another ruby, 266 gold and a bunch of XP. The two heads released two different dying breaths, and then one after the other, they fell over, sending the whole body to the ground. Quest complete, another 300 XP. Alright, Dora levels up. We have not used her in a while. Skill, skill, strength. You know what? Might want to get a point of will in there. Or two. Um, Ramus. Uh, crushing blow. Berserk. Let's go strength. Skill, strength. And then Mesfit goes to level 8, so he gets an ability. Could get Devour 3, which I think I'm going to get. That's a pretty wicked ability, but... So is Devour 3, but that's 40 SP too. Whereas this is only 20. Let's go with Doom Gaze 1. And go Will. Skill. Will. Cool. Mesfit was not done with it. He climbed on top of the corpse and continued to tear him new wounds. Those with sensitive stomachs looked away in disgust. He has fallen. That's the first part of satisfying bloodlust. This is the second part. Mesfit's wild behavior calmed and transitioned into admiring his kill. His hands were covered in the Yetin's blood. Saren lurched, watching blood trickle down his arm. Is he done yet? Oh, please let him be done soon. I'll let you know when to look again. The slating of his thirst came soon after as his demon features lessened, Mesfit and not the demon began to reappear. He looked increasingly tormented until finally he slid off the remains of the Eten. The hunger is gone. I can't believe you just did that. Mesfit's expression, expression jerked as if he was struggling with the morality of what just happened too. It's over now. And now you go back to your father. Putting this dark elf back into society was now the last thing in most of their minds. Will these cravings happen again? I don't know. Probably. They were all silent as they took in the possibility. He can't just go back and live with his father after this. He needs to be put to death. How can you be so cruel so easily? Enough. I trust Saren in this decision. Saren felt the weight of everyone's looks on him. He lives... We'll take him back to see his father, but after that... Saren looked intently at Mesfit. There was only one solution. He has to stay under our supervision. Pardon? Is that safe? Are you sure about that? He would be your responsibility. In his mind, killing Mesfit was out of the question. He easily could see past the demon into the elf underneath. Yes, unfortunately, I am sure. Lauren exhaled and confronted Mesfit. You are lucky there's a person here to vouch for your life. We will not hesitate to take it from you if you decide you're above our rules. I understand. Saren, make sure he is dependable and functional member of this group. Yes, ma'am. Saren saluted her as she walked away. The party gave Mesfit a range of looks from apathy to loathing as they followed her. His life has been spared one too many times, but Saren knew that was one of the most important factors to keeping him away from his demon side. If Mesfit felt security instead of threat, then there was a chance he could suppress his demon blood indefinitely. But that was going to be more difficult than Saren could have imagined. Nice. That's awesome, but... 
Um, glad we were able to do it. We have a ton of money now. We can outfit Sarah, um, Messfit with a lot better equipment. I'm going to keep him in instead of Karen for sure for his team and form. Um, that's probably the episode. Yep. 45 minutes. Want to thank you guys for joining me. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're enjoying the LP as well if you're watching it. And I hope you join me for more. If this is your first episode or you haven't been watching the LP, then feel free to go ahead and watch it. We'd love to have your um, thoughts on it and comments and stuff like that. But thank you so much. Appreciate each and every one of you and each and every view. Much love, peace, and joy. Next time, we'll uh, continue more with this wild and crazy map and uh, see where we end up next. Stay tuned. <laughs>